currently the world's population is around 7.8 billion people, out of which 5% are infants and 5% are extremely old. Let us exclude both categories of the population, as they won't be able to jump. Still, we are left with approximately 7 billion people. First of all, to do this experiment and ease of monitoring, we would require a large land to accommodate 7 billion people all in one place. Let's do some mathematics. For a person to jump easily, we would require approximately one square foot. That equals 7 million square feet, or 300 square miles, approximately the size of New York City. Having said that, the toughest part would be getting all the people in one place. Practically, this is not possible, but for our experiment, let us assume it is. On the contrary, the Earth's mass is around 7 trillion trillion kilograms. The estimation of the mass of 7 billion people hitting the surface of the Earth will be around 421.2 billion kilograms. Moreover, a jump of one foot by everyone would take approximately only half a second. Force applied while jumping will be 1.263 trillion joules. Having said that, it's time for some non-scientific assumptions. Normally, when we conduct such experiments at a smaller scale, there are many things that we can see happening. For example, making 1,000 people stand on one side of a ship would tilt the ship and jumping would surely make it tumble in the water. Moreover, the force of jumping by a group of people would even crack or bend a surface. It is also possible that things from the opposite side would come towards the jumping location. When we think of many things that can happen, Earth might move from its orbit, move far from the Sun, climactic changes and whatnot. What if we tell you that nothing as such will happen? It's time for some scientific explanations by the physicists. According to Rhett Allen, a physicist at the University of Southeastern Louisiana, this jump of 7 billion people will give a gentle push to the Earth at the speed of 2.6 times 10 to 13 meters per second. In simple terms, Earth will move only a one hundredth of the radius of a single atom in a second. But this effect would turn zero when we land back to the Earth after the jump. The gravitational force will act similarly on 7 billion people, and there won't be any effect of this jump on the Earth. The mass of so many individuals might very well appear huge, yet it is little compared to the mass of the Earth. We will only move the Earth a slight bit as we jump up, but when we land, the Earth will return to its original position, as if nothing has happened. Alain explains it with a simple example of two objects attached to a spring. When you attach two objects, one big and another relatively very small, the spring will draw both the objects. Eventually, the object with less weight will move faster than the bigger one, but both will move. Similar is the case of Earth, and jumping people and gravity works as the spring. According to another physicist, Paul Sutter from The Ohio State University, landing after the simultaneous jump by 7 billion people will release a lot of energy. Some of it will be absorbed by our shoes, and some will be dispersed in the air. The major part will hit the ground, resulting in some unpleasant situations. Based on Paul's calculations, this landing of 7 billion people at once will produce a huge sound, which will be around 210 decibels, which would be the largest sound ever produced and heard on Earth. The effect of this sound would tear off our eardrums. Moreover, the Earth's surface near the area will shake walls and structures nearby, even leading to the collapse of old buildings. This shake could destroy bridges, railway lines, electric poles and tall buildings. And if this jump takes place near the coastal area, it could trigger a massive tsunami with tall waves of 50 to 80 feet. This shake can also result in earthquakes ranging from 3 to 7 magnitude, 
which could be disastrous like the one that happened in Japan. Scientifically, the rate of rotation rises as mass travels closer to the center of a revolving object. So theoretically, by jumping on the ground, we can make the Earth revolve quickly, but only by a minor fraction. Strong earthquakes shift mass. They are also, but ultimately, insignificant. The 2011 earthquake in Japan shifted far more mass into the Earth's core than each day has been 0.0000018 seconds shorter since then. Greg Foote, who is a science presenter on TV, tried to demonstrate the effect of people jumping together. He conducted an experiment with 50,000 individuals. Greg was at a Reading festival. He asked 50,000 attendees of the festival all to jump together. The effect was measured and it resulted in an earthquake at a magnitude of 0.6 on the Richter scale. Therefore, he calculated that to recreate an earthquake of the same magnitude like the one that happened in Japan, just by 7 billion people jumping together, we will require 7 billion more people than the current Earth population. Even though so much will happen on Earth, there will be no effect on outer space. A jump of more than 7 billion isn't enough to shift the orbit or disrupt the Earth's movement in the orbit. Some physicists say that this jump would generate a circular wave that will drop into the Earth's surface towards the core and then expand back to the surface again. There's a probability that people in other parts of the world might feel or hear a gentle bump. According to scientists, this jump would create an energy of 0.15 to 0.2 kilotons. That is around 1% of the nuclear bomb dropped over Hiroshima, which produced 18 kilotons of energy. Therefore, as the amount of energy produced will be negligible against the size of the Earth, it will have a non-measurable effect along with a loud bang. Keeping the laws of physics, like the law of motion and the law of gravity aside, let's make a simple comparison of the mass of 7 billion people and the mass of the Earth. The estimated mass of 7 billion people, taking an average weight of a person as 65 kilograms, would be around 455 billion kilograms, whereas the mass of the Earth is 5.92 multiplied by 10 to the power 24 kilograms. The weight of 7 billion people against the weight of the Earth is the billionth part of even 1%. Hence, it cannot make much of a difference. On a fun note, some would get hurt or fall on the ground while landing back. That's it. Nothing else would happen. Moreover, we will create a new world record. Finally, the answer to the question is that there won't be any noticeable effects beyond a mile or two from the jumping site. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to share it with your friends who would love to know such interesting topics. Hit the subscribe button for your weekly dose of informative fun and ring the bell icon to never miss a video from us.